Turning to the economy, it looks like South Korea's exports are back on track after a long slump. Key items like display panels led the surge, and it's looking good in the months to come. Kim Minji reports. Korea's exports stayed on an upward trajectory last month. The trade ministry says outbound shipments rose more than 24 percent on year in April to 51 billion U.S. dollars. It's the second largest export figure ever and the fourth consecutive month of double digit growth. Korea's exports last month grew at the fastest pace since August 2011. April's figure indicates that the country's exports are on the road to recovery. Key export items such as ships and semiconductors have been doing well. In fact, nine out of 13 key export items posted positive growth. The country exported a total of 24 ships for a return of over $7.1 billion, the highest export value on record. Outbound shipments of semiconductors and flat panel displays have also been on an upward trend thanks to rising prices and demand. In particular, shipments to the European Union rebounded in April to post an all-time high. Imports also continue to rise, jumping nearly 17 percent on-year to $37.8 billion in April. With that, the trade balance came to $13.3 billion, extending the surplus streak for a 63rd straight month. Although there was a base effect because Korea's exports declined so much early last year, there has been a general pickup in volume, thanks to a recovery in the global economy and oil prices. Although the pace of growth may slow in the latter half of the year, exports aren't expected to return to negative territory. But there are downside risks that need to be closely monitored so as not to dent the current growth momentum. A possible renegotiation to the Korea-U.S. FTA and China's unofficial sanctions and retaliation against the THAAD deployment could create an unfavorable environment for Korea going forward. That's why experts stress the need for Korea to reduce its dependence on the two global powers and change its trade structure by diversifying its trading partners and products to secure greater stability. Kim Minji, Arirang News.